I'm wearing a red lip. I don't even know who I am. Christmas with Frank Sinatra. Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. I just finished uploading a video. Look at this. I just finished uploading a vlog from yesterday and I figured I wanted to vlog a little bit today. I'm not gonna vlog like the entire day, but just like kind of preparing what I'm gonna make for Thanksgiving and just the get ready process and all that stuff. Um, we got like a little cold front because yesterday it was raining. So it's like 50 something right now. We went for a walk and it feels so good. I opened all the windows. I turned off the air. So it's just great. Um, I am still in my PJs. It's 1030 and I'm probably going to stay in my PJs until I take a shower and get ready honestly because um, after I make my loaf of bread for at least like make the dough I am gonna start cleaning up the house because I want like a really clean house when we come home from Thanksgiving dinner so I figured I would turn on the camera and film a little bit of like what I'm making um, and all that so I had told you guys in another video that your cat has a lizard in her mouth can you come get it so I'm making my bread recipe and I need to clean off this surface before I... She already dropped it before I got in there. I don't know where it is. I'm serious. Let me move all this over here. This is all for Tyler's recipe. Andy Bell. Andy Bell. Little girl. Yeah, that's Andy. She's a special one. She's this is Tyler's little girl. She is I don't even know how to describe Indy. She's got a little attitude. She has an attitude. She's very sassy. She is a tortie, which I didn't know anything about those cats. Tyler got, got her for me for Christmas a couple of years ago. Um, he rescued her. She's very cute. She's very little, but she is an asshole. Oh, I got a new shower curtain. But yeah, she just brought in a freaking lizard anyways i'm cleaning this surface with disinfecting wipes because i'm going to be using this surface for my dough and i'm doing a rosemary version of it and i'm also going to be making it round i don't want it like a loaf shape because i just feel like it'll taste better and just the presentation of it is prettier um so i bought sprigs of rosemary i'm using the exact same recipe that i used the last couple times i've shown it to you guys just trying to clean this surface off so I'm working with a clean area um but yeah I'm working with I'm doing the same recipe I always do um so with it I need to open up my phone again so for sure we'll need salt I am personally using this rosemary infused olive oil but you can use avocado oil. Um, I would recommend avocado oil if you don't want like a rosemary infused one, but I wanna do rosemary, so busting that out. Red flour, this is the one that I am using by Gold Metal. Some yeast, these are the little packets that I have. You can use whatever yeast you wanna use. I know I'm gonna need water. Heating up a cup of water for 30 seconds. And we're gonna do three cups of flour. So one. Two. Three.
I'll do about that much. Okay, now this is pretty ugly looking. It has, it has like nasty chunks. I'm gonna shake it up like really good because I really want the flavor of the rosemary. Okay, three tablespoons, so. One. Two. Three. Having to use another dish, because you already know I hate dishes. So, we're gonna whisk it. Drop it in here. So let's start. Oops. Oh, I can smell the rosemary, so that's good. We have a nice little bowl. So clean towel, obviously. We're gonna cover it and we're gonna set it aside. It's been a couple hours, we cleaned the entire house and um, I am, I let the bread like sit for a long time. So I took a shower, washed my hair, the floor is nice and clean, it just feels good. But I'm about to do my makeup now, I'm like getting ready in between everything that I do. So I'm using the ELF Halo Glow Liquid Filter in shade five. This is like my foundation thing replacement i guess um i wash my hair so i'm gonna let it air dry a little bit i don't like to blow dry my hair when it's like completely wet um so while my hair is air drying i'm gonna probably make the um what is it called casserole just to get that like out of the way because I have still a lot of things to finish. I have to do the beer cheese. I have to do the bread still. And I have to kind of like make the little board. So I have still a lot of cooking to do. And it's about to be two. And my mom told us to go like around five. Knowing damn well we're not going to eat till like seven. Yeah, my cousin is gonna come over and hang out. He's also going to dinner, like at my mom's. And then my sister is gonna come over and make her mac and cheese. So I just, there's gonna be a lot going on. So I just wanna get as much of my stuff done and Tyler still has to cook. So I just wanna get all my stuff done and out of the way and put to the side. So that I don't have to worry about anything else. And I always prefer getting things done early there's gonna be so much food that has to go into the oven and get reheated and all that, so I just don't, I don't wanna stress it. Then, then we need the cheddar. So we're gonna go to the store. Oh, it's the day after Thanksgiving, by the way. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Um, 
I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. I had, I think, one of the best Thanksgivings ever this year. I, I really just loved it. Let me change my battery. It was just like my idea of the perfect Thanksgiving. Like, it was fun. There was no drama. It was so many people. We were outside because it was cold. The food was incredible. We played games, everybody was laughing and yelling. It was just really, truly one of the best Thanksgivings I think I've ever had. Um, so I, my heart is very, very full. So um, I am leaving my house now. It's pretty chilly, it's like 60 degrees. And I'm having the girls over, I think I told you guys, or maybe not, I don't remember. I'm gonna make a loaf of bread because that's just my thing. Guys, my bread and beer cheese got devoured yesterday. Like it got, everybody was eating it. They were like, oh my God, I can't believe you made this. This is so good. And so that made me really happy because I was like nervous. I'd never made bread for that many people. It's always just like me and Tyler. All of the food was just incredible. Like every single thing that we had was bomb. So I hope you guys had a really nice Thanksgiving. I know these holidays can be really hard. Um, for people if like you don't have a good relationship with your family if you feel like you don't have family if you're far away from your family if you lost some family like it's i know this holiday season can be really shitty so i just hope whatever situation you're in it was great regardless even if you only spent it with your significant other or you spent it with friends a whole bunch of people in my neighborhood we just got back from a walk tons of people in my neighborhood are taking out their christmas decorations like we saw people like pulling them out of their garage so i'm so excited to see how everybody's gonna decorate but yeah i'm making a loaf of bread today i'm also gonna do a crock pot dip um like a taco crock pot dip i have um what is it called i have rotel and i have ground beef so i'm or ground turkey so i'm like that's perfect i can literally just throw that in the crock pot get some cream cheese get some cheeses um maybe throw some corn in there just like Something that's yummy, I'm gonna do three like appetizer type things. So I'm not gonna make like any meals. I'm gonna see what Aldi has. I'm gonna do a lavender champagne, a lavender lemonade champagne drink type thing. So I'm just gonna get champagne. I have lavender syrup and then I'm just gonna get a couple of lemons. I only have two lemons that are ready on my tree and I feel like I need a bigger batch. So I'm just gonna get like a pack of lemons. Have you guys bought anything for Black Friday? Or like for the Black Friday season? I'm not judging you if you are. Like I said, if you, you do what you wanna do with your own money. I never judge anybody for spending their money how they want to. I haven't bought anything. Oh, well, I did buy the other day. I bought a pair of boots and I bought um, an anthropology juice glass and the peacock thing. That's all I bought. I haven't spent any money and I'm actually kind of happy about it because like I've been saying, I've been wanting to be really conscious because Christmas is around the corner. I actually, ju actually just set up our secret Santa, which if you guys need a really good website to use for secret Santa, there's a website called Elfster. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. Me and the girls have used it for like our secret Santa for years. And we just started using it in my family. And it's super, super cool because it's all virtual. So you put everybody's names and emails into like the secret Santa list. And then when you click a button, it chooses who you have and it sends emails to everybody. So it'll email me telling me that I have my sister. And then through that, you can set up your wish list with links. So like if everything you have is on like, I don't know, everything you want is on adidas.com. You can put the links to every single thing that you want and the person gets notified. The person that has you gets notified whenever you update your wish list. So like if I have my sister, every single time my sister adds, maybe she wants like a pair of sneakers, it will notify me that my sister just uploaded something to their wish list and then it'll send me the link to it. So it's really, really easy. And like for me, like we have 11 people in our secret tenant. I have a really, really big family. So it just keeps it really, really easy. The stress of having to buy for every single person is just a lot. So like now we just buy for our one secret Santa. We get stuff for like the kids. Like I have my nieces and nephews. We get stuff for the kids. And then like we get stuff for like our significant others if we want to. And then I only get something else for my sister because my sister's birthday is on Christmas day. So I always get her something for her birthday. And then I just get my secret Santa. I get stuff for my nieces and nephews and then Tyler. And then that's it. And it's super easy and way cheaper you can set a budget so if you want the budget to be fifty dollars you can put that in there you can put whatever rules you have like it's just super convenient and clutch so i'll leave it down below for you guys if you want to um or if you need some sort of really easy way to do um secret santa and it's empty it's never this empty when i come okay i'm 
here. So I don't know what I'm getting, honestly. Oh, let me get some lemons. I grabbed some red grapes. Some lemons. Um, I really don't know what else to get. You guys already know. I love these. There's a lot of cheese, but I guess it's good to have. I literally have no idea what I'm getting. I'm just kind of going with it, seeing what I can come up with. I need garlic powder in that. So I'm just out of it. That's really it. do a baking brie i feel like that would be really good that has cranberry glaze this one has pecans on it i don't want to just have like cheese and cheese and cheese and cheese like that's a lot um, i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna get any of this <sighs> my favorite but I had this yesterday, so I'm not gonna get it again. They have lots of cute things. True color. One of those chunky throws. I kind of think I want, oh, these are nice. These are nice too. These are $3.99 each. I can get a couple of these. Ooh. This, but it's pretty. I think I'm gonna do this. Flatbread. And then I have the dip grape. Okay, it is time for a haul. I feel like every single one of my last videos I've been at Aldi. Whatever. You guys know I'm an Aldi stan. I have a lot of stuff, so let's see. So I grabbed this spicy pepperoni flatbread, stone baked thin crust topped with creme fraiche sauce, pepperoni with jalapeno, spinach basil pesto, or spinach basil sauce, marinated chili peppers, cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, and banana peppers. This sounds incredible. From specially selected, of course, imported from Germany. This, I'm gonna like cut it up and put it on like a a wood board so that's gonna be really really pretty um, the two bottles of the Prosecco because I'm going to make um, lavender lemon champagne thingies like I told you guys these cookies I'm gonna put out for just like nibbles um, I got two of the candles the flameless candles just to have for um, like a tablescape because everything I have is real flame so, I like to do a little mixture there. I got some red 
see those grapes that's a pretty sad bag but just have some fruit i grabbed these last minute these are cherry colas i have no idea why i bought these i saw these last time and i was just really intrigued by them where are they from because this is such a cool packaging like i don't know i just thought these would be really cute so got those i got this pepper jack combo it has shredded monterey jack cheese with jalapeno peppers for the dip thing and then i grabbed this dark drizzled petal corn a sweet and salty holiday treat my best friend loves these so i grabbed some because i figured that would be good to have as well i grabbed some fritos for the tex-mex dip i got this cheese this is so much but I'm gonna put cut like a certain amount of it. I don't know and just throw it in there. I got these salted caramel cheesecakes from the specially selected brand. If you ever see any of their desserts, 10 out of 10. And then I keep these um, little bowl, like they come in like glass things. So I keep these for whenever I do spreads. Um, so I got four of those. I got some garlic powder just because we're out. I got some fabuloso because they didn't have any other like all-purpose cleaner so i just grabbed that i'm not like a big bubble person i got some well these are citrons but whatever got those i got a pack of batteries i got some paper towels and dish soap because we were out and all of that was 80 80 bucks 85 bucks i got a lot of stuff for that so this is everything here Aldi for the win. So I think my dishwasher is going right now. So once that finishes, I'm going to pull out the um, crock pot because it's in there, there. And I'm just going to start throwing everything together. For that, I'm going to use this cheese, this cheese, rotel, and ground turkey. And then I'm going to season it like, Mex like a taco flavored. I think as far as my outfit, I don't really know what to wear because... At this point, I've pulled out so many things that I'm going to get rid of. But I think I might do my DIY blazer that Tyler did for me. I bought this men's blazer at um, Goodwill for like $11, I think. Um, and then I bought feathers and had Tyler sew them on there for me right there. So I think I'm going to do this just because it's fun and festive with... I really would love to do them with these pants, like super sparkly and fun, but I think I'm going to save these and do a different pant. I don't know which one, but yeah. And then I'll just do some fun shoes, maybe some boots or something, just something comfortable and easy that I could walk around in. Walk around in. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'm wearing. I think I might even put a red lip on just to be fun. I'm going to just start cleaning up this mess that is in my kitchen getting everything ready and then um see you guys later cleaning obviously this whole time just straightening up crock pots going my bread is proofing clean the floors just put a little bit of laundry to wash it smells good in here i have been wanting this for so long christmas with frank sinatra you guys have I love, 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 love Frank Sinatra. And I've been wanting this for my collection 
I only have like classics right now. I have Queen, The Beatles, and now this. ground turkey. Tyler is napping. He needs it because last night he was lit. I was the DD. So in here I have just some ground turkey. I've had it on high so it could cook with some rotel. I put sofrito in there, some seasonings. So I have that going and it looks pretty good to where I can add the cheese. So I forgot to get corn but And this one I put rosemary and thyme. So I'm gonna let that keep rising because yesterday the bread came out really, really good because I let it rise for a long time. I'm pretty much done with everything that I needed to do. I just have to bake the bread, but I'm not gonna do that till later. And then do the tablescape. I'm gonna do that after I shower. I'm gonna chill for a little bit because I'm tired. It's only two and the girls aren't coming till five, like after five. So I have a good amount of time to chill for a second, sit down, and then I'm gonna start doing the tablescape, which I'll show you guys that as well. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna do the same thing that I always tell you guys, just dig through what you have and just make something out of it. you guys i am ready i'm wearing a red lip i don't even know who i am i literally only wear red lips like during this time of the year like the holiday season this is the red that i actually did with dame boss i don't know if it's available anymore i'll check though it's really similar to like ruby woo from mac and then i have on my blazer this was thrifted for 12 dollars at goodwill and then tyler sewed feathers at the end and then I have on these leather pants. Um, I'm waiting to put on my shoes. So it's a little bit closer to when everybody gets here. And here is my little spread. So I just made this loaf and it is absolutely gorgeous. It came out freaking perfect. So I just have it here covered a little bit while it cools. And then I have not really even a spread. It's just some crackers. Um, some of this little stuff, some grapes, olives. I have my candles. This is an, a garlic herb butter that I made. Um, this is lavender syrup. We have lemons, lemon water. This is dip with Fritos. I have our glasses that I filled, um, that I tied little bows on. A bottle of wine. I have to put a bottle of champagne in there. And then I'm going to come, like make a little concoction and I want to pour them in there, but I want to wait until they're almost here. So this is our little spread. I asked them if they were okay with being filmed. They said yes, so I will most likely be filming a little bit. Um, the living room is giving, it's so vibey and comfy and cozy and just beautiful. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So 
I'll leave it here up until everybody gets here and then I will see you guys then. <laughs> oh, like, this is cute, but yeah. Oh my, and I don't have a. Like, I know a you never actual, make clothes, mm -hmm. so I was like, I'm just gonna get it for. I don't know. This if was so but. cute. I literally the other day was with Tyler and I was like, I need a flower sister, bro. The I was like, I need one of these now that I'm a baker. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, Imani, does Ivana have a sister? She's like, I don't think so. I'm like, do you even know what that is? I like big time her. I'm like, does she have this? She was like, do you have one of these? When did you ask her? I before that. Probably. I was like, damn. Okay, oh, okay, oh. Hi. Literally, they're already screaming at me. No, he's facing that. Like, that was like your main. That's what that, like, is that? So, for me, I was like, that's. Yeah. No. And again, like. <laughs> for me, I can't have Yeah, definitely. I already know. 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 I already know.